listening to Final Frontier News. It's, you know, like when you're measuring sort of like, you know, on a compass, for example, right? Mm-hmm. You know? But hold on a second yep. here. How many degrees does a compass have? Right. Think of a full, a full circle. Right. You know this. 360 degrees, yeah. Exactly. So think of it this way. Does it really end at 33? Exactly, yeah. Damn. Yeah. yeah. And that's, dude, and, and the thing is they catch people this way because the, the, somebody spends almost so much of their life getting these masonries and, and, and upgrading and, and, you know, getting to these levels. And they, th- they think they've reached the point where, hey, I'm going to be like a whatever the yep. head guy is. And then they tell you, well, no, you're not. <laughs> There's 10 more degrees now. And they go, oh, wow, I just learned this big secret. And then by those 10 times, if they haven't been caught spoiling, spilling, leaking, or lying, uh, then they get to move up to that next level. And exactly. then, like you said, so like it's such a full, it's a protective measure. And I'm sure some people are assassinated at that, in that level. Because then they run to wherever, like, hey, I figured out the secret. And, um, yeah, so that, like, that, that's super interesting. And then there's, and you never really know where the end, where the end game is with it. Kind of like the freaking movie Cube or something. Um, all right, well, let's get into the UFOs, I guess. Here we go. We're getting the Illuminati. and Because uh, people always say that, it, that reason why we're, we just talked about that is people always say, like, well, you know, it would be spoiled by now, or it would be ousted by now, or it would be whatever by now. And um, that's how they are able to do it. That's part of how they're able to do it. I'm sure there's some things we don't know about. There has to be. Uh, is that why all the celebrities do the, the, the triangle fucking hand thing and fucking put their eye through it and say they're part of the Illuminati and all that shit? Like, yeah, I see, mean, that's come the, that's on. The, that's it's the in the face for a reason. Yeah, that's the that's there's a bunch of bull the bull that's the um you know you talk about Bob Lazar people talk about him being like you know he was fed wrong information that's what a lot of these people are done they're they're fed wrong information or they're fed tactics that way that you know people are just used to it you know like oh the, everybody knows about that there's no Illuminati you know there's a this masonry there's but those are they don't even know there's so many people in in the Freemasons right now that think they're not even that's not even the same thing. They're all, they're all part of that fake tier of it, you know, the the commercialized version of it. Yep, exactly. Which is brilliant, you know. <laughs> We're gonna open up fifty McDonald's. It's like Scientology, but you know, with a little bit more esoteric value. <laughs> yeah, and also, yeah, hundreds and hundreds of years of <laughs> development too. Like, and no, and no Zenu. Yeah, look at how secretive. Even though Scientology is pretty, you can pretty much figure out almost all about it. But look at how weirdly secretive that is, and that's yep. new. Yep. <laughs> Imagine the fucking what lies in um, Illuminati stuff. Um, so the UFOs. Uh, speaking of Illuminati, the other day we showed the videos. There's three of them. Um, we've seen other videos that haven't been released by the government, but they are. Videos that you could basically say look very similar to these ones, although not really because nothing we've never seen aircrafts, you know, zone in on on these things like this. Our our militaries and, and our aircrafts do that. But we've seen many different civilian videos where these things take right angles or they fly at these speeds that are just crazy. Um, but so what did you think of this yesterday? We talked about this and and I gave several ideas of you know, between aliens to us taste, testing spaceships to uh, parallel universes bleeding over to uh, these things moving so fast in the future that they're going back in time and we're seeing them. Um, what, what do you think? Well, there um, was three clips, I believe, that you did uh, share. I believe they were from different uh, events. There was one from 2004... And one, I think, from 2012? Uh, uh, to the, I think 2015 and 2004. Okay. So um, these, these three different events um, were obviously quite interesting in the sense that the, the military is basically publicly re- releasing them. And... With all the stuff that's going on right now, I personally think it's a distraction. What There's a no weird need time. for the military to release this sort of information at this point. Why? They did release it a few years back. Yeah, but you know, uh, it got leaked. And, and why would they want to now say, hey, 
it was real. We just want to make sure you understand it's real. Well, they're not. Well, they're they're not. They're basically saying yes, this event occurred. They're not necessarily saying this is um, an alien. They're not necessarily right. saying this is a, an earthbound craft. But they're just they're just officially acknowledging that this is information that comes from them. When the, when it got leaked before, it basically had their blessing. Like the like the the yeah. um yep. the air um the air force put it out there. So yeah, they didn't they didn't have any suit like anybody sued or anybody in prison like um, Chelsea Manning or you know. Um, Julian Assange or, you know, anybody else or, or Snowden, like nobody was arrested when this stuff, you know, was sort of leaked in quotations. So that's a, that's the question. You know, I, I, I don't have the answer, but I'm just saying like we, that's the big question that everybody has to think about is what makes the Pentagon want to make sure that, you know, like, listen, yeah, it's, this is real. You know, we really, you know, we're going to re-release it. So you understand this, this did happen. We clarify this. We don't know what it is. Well, like I said earlier, I believe it's a distraction just because of the timing, because of the political issues that are occurring right now. And we've seen times before where certain information was leaked or certain videos came out. And this whole disclosure project that exists out there, which I believe is a psychological operation to acclimatize people to the possibility of alien life or you know just opening them up for predictive think it's a, programming to blue beam do you think it's a test do you think it's a test to compare how much people absorb the information now versus when it went out the last time when they're in no, quarantine sp no specifically it's um no no i can't i no i can't say that that it's, it this is more so uh, because people are stuck inside already and watching a lot of internet that they're going to release this video. I feel like uh, a lot of people don't care still though. Don't you feel like don't you feel like the people are so fucking stupid at this point that like only people like us are still talking about this? But your average person basically just sees it on their Facebook feed and goes, "Haha, aliens." and then puts up no, a quite, gif. Quite the opposite because right now during the quarantine people are paying a little bit more attention. You know, previously, you know, they're living their lives and all oh, they just see a, you know, a headline or something. Uh, UFOs, whatever. I don't care. You know, it's probably photoshopped or something. But now they're stuck inside, and they're and they're you know seeing things that other people are bringing up on social media, and they've got a lot more attention going to it. I agree. It was that trending the other day. No, I agree that there's a lot more attention, but I still just don't see anybody. You know, that's like I, I just don't see the rea I would think that this would be the number one trend. Every news channel would talk about it. And then it would just take over. Like, what the fuck are these things? And I don't see that. I still see just people joking about it, kind of like, all right, well, on to the next thing. People still care more about what Trump said or, like, making joke. They're still memeing the Lysol stuff, I think, more than they're memeing the, the fucking UFO stuff. You raise a good point, is that this technically, because it's an official release by the Pentagon, should be on every fucking channel, and it's not. Well, Why is that? Well, and that, and that tells me too. If they're trying to set this up for the globalization stuff, and to get people together, and also to to use it against people, they're, they're going to have to ramp up what the, what they show us. Like they may be thinking, okay, let's see what the people can handle, and and they're like, listen, people don't give a fuck about this UFO stuff. We could tell you we saw a UFO fly into a cave tomorrow, or through the water, or into the ground, or and people just. It just doesn't fucking sit with people. We're literally going to have to show people. Like, we're literally going to have to have a press conference and come out and, and, like, tell people about the alien we found. Like, I mean, because otherwise nobody cares, I feel like. We do, we do, and people that are paying good, attention. You make a good point is that if this, if, if more people cared, you would see more, you know, more people talking about it. And, yeah, people are talking about it, but it doesn't seem like to the extent where – you know that, that this is affecting people to the point where they're concerned with aliens and yeah if you know what you're saying is true like they would need to ramp it up huge i mean just to get some attention to this i can tell you right now what's recently trending dude um irfan khan i don't even know who that is two million searches um remsdiver one million uh, boris johnson is 100k 
Facebook stock, 100K. Uh, AMD stock, Elon Musk, Assassin's Creed. I mean, uh, there's nothing else that's trending, like even close. Unemployment's trending. Donald Trump's trending. Donald Trump and Lysol is trending. If I type in UFO and I search the past 12 months, Dave, you know the most popular time UFO was searched was back on in August of 2019. Well, yesterday I was seeing all these different, you know, hashtags that were trending, but like UFO 2020 or, you know, disclosure uh, or UFOs are among us, all these different things, and they were all trending yesterday. Yeah, no, this is, and I'll show it's, it's trending. Look at this. If you, if you can see your Skype, uh, and it's downward down. It's just falling down again. But, you know, if I compare it, to Trump. Look at that. That's the comparison to Trump. At one point, at 2 a.m. in the morning on April 29th, UFOs overtook Trump by one. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. So they did all that. And Probably, and, probably during um, Coast to Coast or something, you know? Yeah, exactly. Unbelievable. Look at that. I mean, it's kind of amazing. There's the comparison right there. And and that's the and, and I'm I mean like I don't know, like what what could have beaten UFOs? I don't know. Like let me I'll search WWE like I don't know. Uh WWE, you know, UFO beat WWE, but UFO it's didn't beat Trump. Or some shit. What what's something else that's popular in the news right now? You know what I mean? I, you know, I don't know, president, the word president. Um, you know, you look, UFOs took over the word president. Uh, at some point during that time of the disclosure, April 27th, when the video came out. So UFOs did take over there. So, I mean, no question that it made an impact for a couple days. But, you know, again, Trump still trended. Like, I, I would think UFO would be the number one thing, and that's it. Like, look at these fucking videos. And maybe if they released new videos, like something else we didn't know about, maybe it would have. But a lot of people well, said, "Oh, human, I've seen these already." Humans, humans are the type that would say, "If I, you know, if I don't see it, I don't believe it." So they would literally need like an alien to step out of a craft and you know wave to them in a camera before they would probably believe it. Well, I think that's the case now. I really do. I, or, or the government, or somebody who's important, like would have to come out. Like, like Donald Trump would have to come out. You know, or or whatever. Donald Trump or Barack Obama. Somebody would have had to come out who's the president or something like that. And say, listen, um, we're about to tell you something that people have long. This is a historic day. We're about to tell you uh, a lot of things, er almost everything we know. Um, and, and I mean, dude, that would be an amazingly historic moment if they if they said that and they and they said like, you know, and ima imagine them saying like, we're in contact with the aliens. Like, imagine that. You'd be like, what the fuck. Here's the funny thing. I've always been, I've researched this topic for a long time. I've always wanted a, a, a disclosure, but, you know, seeing the big picture, I realized that society is stupid. <laughs> the, the various societies out there and the announcement that there is life out there and that there isn't like that, say, Americans are in contact with them would cause panic amongst those whose minds can't accept the possibility that life exists beyond them. Do you think there'd be more panic if they said what I was just saying versus the, what's going on with the coronavirus? Probably. Probably. That. Uh, by the way, there's the chart right there. Twice. You can see the blue. Twice UFO did eclipse... Um, the yellow, which is virus. So yellow is virus. Red is Trump. And the blue is UFO. Very interesting. Now, what, Very interesting. What, what would also be interesting is to go back, if we can, at some point on Google uh, search, if I can figure out a way to do it, and look at when, remember when those videos were released the last time? Find out what the date is when they were released the last time and look at these same measurements. I wonder what type of spike it would be. But, um, yeah, so we don't really know what the reason is. So, again, 
I know that we've been over Bob Lazar, and I know that I mentioned him a couple times the other day, and I think I'm a little more excited about him than I should be. But I just what I, what draws me to what he is is how he said, and, he, and even if he was fed misinformation or he's working for agencies um, to to sort of place doubt in this, put credibility into it while placing doubt, so that. He's not quite believable, but it's a fun fairy tale, and then people don't question anything else beyond that. But when he describes how the craft move worked and all these type of things, I mean, I just can't get over the fact that that's what we see. Like, what he describes is what we see. So, so what we've seen is what he described, and what he described is now what we see. If that makes any sense. So like in the past when people would like credible people would say that they saw some kind of UFO, even in, even years ago, hundreds of years ago, when someone would describe the UFOs coming out of the water, doing the things they do, um, that syncs up with what they talked about at Roswell. And that syncs up with what Bob Lazar talked about. He saw in the eighties and that syncs up with, what we now all those things could be they're all copying off each other right so that that person heard about it doing that so now he says he saw that do that well whatever so that could all be telephone of how the things work for the last thousands of years or whatever it is but now on these ufo videos that we've seen that is exactly what we're seeing is what all of these other descriptions of these things always have been so to me, that's sort of like a major clarification of, holy shit, that there it is. That's the thing that everyone's talked about since back in the day, the saucer, the way they move, the way they take off, the way they can, can come out of the water and go into the water. What, what do you make of that? Well, first I want to address Bob Lazar, who I think puts out misinformation not necessarily because he wants to but because again he was probably what's the best word he was sort of sloppy in the way that he conducted himself and he got himself in a situation where he was told okay we're gonna let you do certain interviews and stuff but you know you can't talk about certain things and, um, you know, you're in trouble. So we're going to ignore things so that you put this information out. So he's either told to say certain information or shown things and told things that aren't true so that when he puts them out, they're, they're, it's, again, misinformation. Um, I definitely, you know, I believe that he has worked in uh, Groom Lake. But, again, I, I do believe that he was probably coerced into saying certain things or he's been fed in certain information. But what he's describing, now this is the second part, in regards to the way that these crafts operate, like you said, has been reported for thousands of years, literally. Yeah. And you find it in all different sorts of cultures, and they all – refer to different sorts of craft, not just disc shape. Yeah. And they all function in a very similar manner. And if you really go deep, the technology seems to be very similar uh, that powers them. But they all seem to describe on how these, you know, craft operate like a, like a wheel, like a, um, a top, you know, like mm -hmm. a spinning top. And that the way that they change angles and accelerate is beyond the scope of anything that exists at that point. And that is what we see, you know, with these videos. Yeah. And uh, that's the thing is like, too, that gets me like, why? Because I'm starting to, um, why what? Well, I'm starting to believe that, you know, these things have been around for thousands of years. Why would they be around? For thousands of years, why would these, if they're aliens, why would they be coming back for so long? You know, keep it, whatever they're doing. Coming back? What if they never what, left? What if, what if here, they've yeah. always been here? 
Yeah, and so that makes what if this that... just some ancient civilization that you know is now situated, say, perhaps in Antarctica, or maybe even inside the Earth or underneath the water. Yeah, and 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 that actually makes more sense because it doesn't make sense that aliens visiting the Earth, you know, would visit for thousands of years. That makes that kind of doesn't make sense. So the fact that we I'm pretty sold on the fact that these it doesn't things... make sense when you consider how big space is. You got to be because right. like people would say, well, yeah, but aliens exist. Yes. The Drake equation proves that there, it, it, it's just not possible for humans to be the only life in the universe. There's literally billions. It, well, there's probably a countless number of uh, beings that exist in this universe that could be considered intelligent life. But what, what Joe is saying is, is spot on is that considering the spaces, uh, you know, in space, uh, separating planets, you know, thousands of years of constantly being uh, visited and, and viewed by the primitives here on the planet, it makes more sense that they were here all the time. Yeah, and that even, so I would buy that, that like we you said, Antarctica under the ground, um, of dark side of the moon, you know, things like that. Exactly. Um, or, or the paradox thing, or the parallel universe thing. I, I would buy that too. That they 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 are unaware of us, and we're unaware of them. Problem is with that one is that they've reacted to our military bases, so they seem to be concerned with our military, and with our military operations. Like we've heard several times that they've done things, especially at military bases, or or whatever else. So if you were living on Earth among these hostile humans and you're a human yourself or whatever you are, but you're more advanced, you know, they would be concerned. Like these people are going to kill the planet or kill us. Now, Joe, you followed disclosure project, correct? Yes. Okay. Now one term that's been used in uh, the, the field of exopolitics, which is the whole concept of dealing with, uh, beings off planet or, um, of non-human existence is that a like you've heard of breakaway civilization right yeah like they they moved on to another planet or they left uh the earth no no, no it, the the definition that they provide and i think is the perfect definition because it, it describes a lot of different and and like actual human uh groups a breakaway civilization is one is that has basically been able to break away from society, civilization, establish themselves right. separate, and develop uh, exotic technology that is light years beyond what we can comprehend. So, for example, the Nazis that left uh, Germany and established themselves in Antarctica, uh, in various places underneath, you know, and so forth. Right. Um, that's considered a breakaway civilization because they're the ones that had already UFO technology that ended up starting to harass the Americans. They ended up doing a flyover Washington, D.C. This is photographed and, and documented. 1953, there was like literally 30 UFOs hovering over the Capitol. Mm -hmm. And they basically, you know, scared the Americans. And they even the president came out and said, like, we don't know what these are. The military is investigating, blah, blah, blah. Soon after the whole thing, you know, shut down. But that sort of um, coincides with a potential UFO meeting that uh, Eisenhower had. Um, uh, no, was it? I, no, I think it was Truman. Sorry. Um, at a military base with... Uh, you know, supposed aliens, but the the information seems to come out that this was the remnants of the Nazi Reich that already had exotic technology. They're the ones that eventually convinced NASA to bring in all the Nazis in Project Paperclip. Yep. So, like they and and they established themselves in America, so and, and several parts of the world. But that's just one breakaway civilization. There's like, for example, Boeing company or say Lockheed Martin, right? Yeah. They're, they're specialists. And this is already documented stuff. Their specialists are brought into a UFO crash and they're told, okay, you're not going to be told all the information, but this is what you have to look at. This was a craft at one point and had a, 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 a drive technology 
your your job is now to reverse engineer and make that work. You've got unlimited budget because this is a black budget, so make it happen. So these guys go work for it. They make it happen. Lockheed Martin now has a fucking star drive that can take you a you know a light year away in five seconds, right? Right. And and what's stopping them now from establishing bases anywhere in the fucking uh, solar system or outside? Yeah, I mean, if they can, if they can, God, if they can use this, I mean, the, I mean, do we know how fast? I don't know if we've found out how fast they're moving, but I guess that they can't even measure it. Like the military couldn't measure it at the fastest speed. It was gone. Uh, I mean, in in the videos that you're t referring to, the, the the ones that you posted. In, in no, in the videos that we're looking at, I mean, they wouldn't have been able to videotape them if they were, you know, if they'd seen it. Because like like the ones we see at NASA when the space uh, telescope and the, or they're working on the space station, and we see these things once in a while. I mean, they the go ones, like left, the right, ones floating in the background, or the ones that take off. Because there's yeah, been they take ones off. like that. that uh, for example, they were. Did you see the video where uh, what appears to be a ground-based uh, laser weapon gets fired at a UFO, and this thing literally stops in its tracks, does a right angle um, jolt, and then literally flies off into the distance. Have you seen that video? Wow, I didn't. No, I, I've seen. I think I've seen the one you're talking about, because it flies off from like left to right. The Earth's on the left. Um, the uh, space station's right there in the middle center, and then in the top right, it goes left and then goes completely right and then takes off like into the into disappears. It gets yeah. smaller and smaller. It, disappears they, like a. They calculated at least Mach 15. Yeah, and that thing is gone. I mean, I mean that thing would and reach... the right angles that it does. It's clear. It's right angles. It's boom, boom, boom. Yeah, and and it looks like it would reach, it reach goddamn Mars, in like two minutes, or Probably. something. And 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 th this is even the estimates of uh, what scientists have said. If we could utilize. Uh, you know, anti gravit uh, gravitic drives. I mean, NASA came out, or NASA, I keep saying NASA, um, <laughs> of a craft which, you know, they called the Enterprise, which supposedly was like uh, an interpretation of what a, uh, a drive using what's called the Al Albuquerque drive which again it's a light drive it's basically a warp drive it it yeah. it makes space in front of uh, the craft heavier and this uh space behind it lighter so think of it this way it's like you're going downhill so right. it just you know as long as that's on like you'll just keep going faster and faster so they designed this craft strangely enough around the time where um this theoretical drive, and I know that you 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 talked about it on one of your shows. It was a theoretical drive that supposedly could not exist, right. and NASA basically, you know, Im immediately said, "Oh, that's not possible." And then they analyzed it. And they're like, "Wow, we've got something that we don't even understand." But apparently, this thing can probably get like to a third of light speed, you know, if it ran long enough. Yeah, I mean, um, with uh. With with the drives, you know, they talked about. What do you think about? Because remember, Bob Lazar talked about that element that they needed. That yep, they, element one fifteen. Yeah, and they and they have it, but they they don't have the potency of it. And so he thought that that you know potentially it came from a different planet because you know we don't we just can't seem to replicate this thing. Like no, we've we we have been able to, but that's the thing though. Uh, and some people actually predicted that this was going to happen in a certain year, you know, supposed certain psychics and psychics and stuff, but um the bottom line is that I think it was a couple of years ago or last year that they basically announced that this product um this generated artificial material uh, element uh exists. And it is now element 115. That's so weird, man. It's um, we, we, and you know, somebody said the other day they were like, "Well, you know, it makes no sense, Joe, because how are you gonna have oxygen? You know, you gotta have oxygen in the craft too." And I was like, "Well, what are you talking about? You know, we ha we have enough oxygen to to send people to Mars. We could send people to Mars, and they'd you know they would get there. So if if we can send people to Mars now over the course of six months." 
Well, we can't, but I mean, you know, we theoretically, if we really wanted to, we could go on a mission to Mars right now and we'd get. So my point is, though, but if these things get to Mars in two minutes, you've got plenty of oxygen to get somebody anywhere and somewhere. So that theory, I don't know why, but somebody was fighting with me about it one day and I, I sort of just said, yeah, you're right. I don't know how they'd be able to survive with the oxygen. Well, the thing's encased. There's oxygen in it and then it can go underwater. It can go in space and it can go underwater probably all the way to the bottom of the ocean because the, the, the any gravity. A, a submarine, a submarine can, can go for a year without, you know, replenishing its oxygen supplies, even yeah. without utilizing... Um, the the water to generate the additional oxygen needed yeah suppose so, um you know other humans or people that were here before or species that were here before thought that uh you know maybe they maybe maybe they were uh, more accustomed to breathing into water so they they developed as a society in the ocean like we don't know that like or, or we don't know if people went into the ocean and just to uh, speak on that, in regards to these videos, the they're being published as unknown aerial phenomenon. Remember, they're well. More importantly, we should be noticing. We always need to be noticing how they're tra trying to always change definitions of things to keep us confused. UFO. It's always been UFO. What are they calling it now? Yeah. Unidentified aerial phenomenon. A U P. And there's also now because they're trying to diversify, confuse us further. Unidentified. Um, what's the underwater? Yeah. Um. What's uh, that term? This. Uh, uh, I, I. 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 Something about object in the water. But it's. It's. Here's the question about that. Changing the name. There's two different things that could happen because of that. Number one, you change the name so that nobody's looking for that. So, like, when the regular American or American, regular uh, human on planet Earth, Canada, America, wherever you are, and you see, you know, un unexplained aerial phenomenon device, you know, you're not going to be like, oh, shit. Like, you know, but if you see UFO, you're going to be like, oh, Wait. UFO. Great but, point. But but there's two things that happen with that. Number one, either people will not understand that they're talking about aliens and UFOs. And number two, do they want that? Do they want or do they want to get away from the stigma of UFO? Do they want you to pay attention? Which one is it? Because if you if you start calling it that instead of UFO. That's a good point, too. So you are legitimizing the potential that that is a serious topic. Right, because the name UFO is both popular, well known, but also now is a almost, yeah, a, it's, it's a gimmick. Sorted. Yeah, it's a gimmick. People don't treat it seriously. Yes, good point. So, really are, good point. have they changed the name to make it more serious, to make you understand that this is something important, or have they changed the name so many times so that you are unable to see what's going on when they're talking about it, and they can put it in these reports? So, I don't know. Fifty-fifty. Didn't Hillary Clinton do something like that once? Tip, yes. tip everybody off to that. I believe she did. She did speak a little bit, uh, from what I remember. Um, but I do remember Barack Obama being asked. Uh, I can't remember what it was specifically, but there was a question in regards to aliens. Would he ever declassify information or something like that? I think that was just during his second term and yeah, stuff. And he treated he it more joke. like a joke. But yeah, he made a joke about it. I remember. He said, we'll see if there's any green money, ha, ha, whatever. He probably wouldn't know anyway. But there's been a few politicians that have done that. I think um, Bill Clinton did that too. Um, I don't think uh, George Bush Jr. did, but he did joke about the fact that he was part of a secret society and, you know, oh, that's funny. I can't say a word. <laughs> I read kids. Yeah, and, and he probably, and knowing him, he might probably is. Guy's painting something. He's kind of just an idiot, though, right? I mean, we kind of... He, no, he... Here's the thing that I always thought he was, and then I, I learned this guy's been playing the idiot. He's a good actor, but he's been playing an idiot for a long time. Yeah. It's amazing on how well he played America into thinking that he was that dumb. Well, he almost walked into that door in China or whatever, so... And uh, <laughs> several other things. But, um...
yeah, so I mean that, that really I don't know what else this means for us going forward. Are we going to see more disclosures, more um footage or like where where are we going with this? Some it, people have been talking uh that there is going to be some sort of either soft or hard disclosure coming soon sometime in 2020 for various reasons. There's di different people out there saying different things. It would take too long. We'd have to wrap up, I know. But it's. I think it's just curious that it comes now. I Again, I personally find it a distraction because of the, the, the particular timing that it's taking place in because we have this come out in the past. And like Joe said, nobody really gave a fuck despite the fact this should be huge and on every fucking channel. So I think the only reason it's coming out right now is to just, you know, just distract from what's going on with either the world economy, with the coronavirus or things with Trump or something like that. And again, I just think it's unnecessary and maybe it's a it's a taste of things to come of what they're trying to prepare us for. Yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on it. Obviously, we're going to be paying very much close attention to all this stuff and I don't know if Trump had a hand in it. It doesn't sound like Trump had anything to do with this. So is this, you know, is that a bad thing? Does that mean that that's a, somebody trying to get, uh, do something against Trump or to send some kind of signal or what, you know, I'm surprised. Did Trump, has Trump mentioned anything about this? Have you heard him say, like, did you see the videos? Like he, he seems like he doesn't even care. I did not. But, I mean, he's dealing with the coronavirus, so I understand it. He's already uh, seen this. You might want to refer your questions to the director of Space Force. <laughs> yeah. Well, he'd probably say that, well, we have a Space Force. That's why we have a Space Force. You know, mm -hmm. there's a lot of things in space. We're going to shoot them down. <laughs> shoot them down. You know, or, or we're going to tax them. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, Bigly. Gonna... You know what? They're going to pay for the wall. Yeah, we found out that they have quantum diamond transium which is uh, something that's, if you can imagine, 100,000 times more valuable than gold. And uh, they, their planet is loaded with it. So we ask, every time they come here, three grams at least of this. <laughs> like, I don't know. And it could power the whole world. Uh, but, yeah, we'll see what happens uh, later in the next one. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. Devious Dave Rose. I'm Joe Cronin. As I, fuck, I'm dying. I have allergies because I was outside today. See you in the next uh, Final Frontier.